and happy Super Bowl Sunday if you guys are like celebrating the Super Bowl or if you guys are interested or if you guys even live in America, uh, then happy Super Bowl Sunday. If you hear noise everywhere, I'm sorry. Um, my parents are getting ready for a party that we're having later and the neighbors are out and about because it's very pretty outside in Florida today. So I'm sorry about that. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing my fitness routine and also my fitness clothes collection. So that is what I will be doing for today's video. I, if you're new to my channel, my name is Caroline. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. You guys can subscribe somewhere down below. Just click the red button. It's free. And also make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. But without further ado, let's just get started. So I'm not going to be like taking you to the gym with me or anything because I don't think my gym will allow me to film there. And so I'm going to have to ask permission and everything. And I just um, didn't have any time. So I'm just going to kind of tell you what I'm doing for the week. My actual week, Monday through Thursday, a lot of it's very similar. There's not really any gym work going on on those weeks, on those on those days, because I have dance after school. So that is kind of just what's going on on those, but I will kind of just go tell you what's going on then, but it's Friday through Sunday where I'm having the actual gym work. So on Monday through Thursday, I have, for first period, I have volleyball on Monday through Friday, and I dress out and actually play volleyball Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. Wednesday is a short day, so we don't dress out or anything like that. It's kind of just a work day. And volleyball isn't the most like active sport because you're just kind of like sitting there, especially with um, my level, because I'm only level one for volleyball one because I I don't play volleyball, so it's like a fun thing. But like a lot of us, I mean, we're not very good, so I mean, there's not much going on in terms of the intensity of the sport. But it is still great to kind of get out there and play volleyball first thing in the morning because then that kind of allows me to open up and kind of start the day, get the day going, get the blood rush in early in the morning so it has leads to a better rest of the day. After school, whenever I get home, I will have my snack, I will do my homework, and then on Monday and Tuesday, um, I don't have dance until 6 and I get home at 2.20, so it like I have like this long time in, in between and because I don't want to just be sitting there eating food, watching TV or something like that, I like to typically do something like go for a 30 minute bike ride or go for a 30 minute run, so I will typically do that after I do my homework. I will go for doing something for 30 minutes, whether it's um, for a run or for a bike ride or something like that. So I will do that for 30 minutes. And on top of that, I will also do for 30 minutes um, every single day. It doesn't matter like what day. I am going to practice stuff for dance that I need to practice, whether it's like all cone turns, which are like those turns <laughs> that you go out if you know what I'm talking about. Um, my straddle leaps. I also like practicing, like I'm learning how to do a kip up and everything like that. So I will just also do that for 30 minutes um, after school, typically after I do my run or just any day I will practice that as well. So then it's time to go for dance, and I dance on Monday through Thursday. I dance for two hours at least each day. So Monday I dance for two hours, Tuesday I dance for two hours, Wednesday I dance for two and a half hours, Thursday I dance for two and a half hours, and Friday I don't have dance, and Saturday is typically like an hour, depending on what rehearsals we have going on, or if I have performances, then I'm dancing a bit more. Yeah, so that's typically what my actual week looks like. So Friday, I don't always make it to the gym, because Friday I like doing stuff with my friends, and it's still a bit busy, but if I do make it to the gym, I like to do the same thing on Friday through Sunday. So now I'm going to go into what I'm doing for my gym workout. So my gym isn't very far and I like walking to the gym whenever I get a chance but sometimes you can't always if the weather is bad or if you know just you're not feeling it like that day then I'll just drive there but if I walk to the gym I will typically walk there and then when I get to the gym I always like starting off with some cardio. I typically give myself 20 to 30 minutes of cardio and my favorite thing to do is the elliptical so I will typically do the elliptical. I don't really use any settings or anything like that like I'll just do level 2 or 3 and I'll just do the cardio and just kind of just do it for 20 or 30 minutes. Sometimes I'll do treadmill. Um, I typically don't do the treadmill because it's bad for my knees um, and sometimes I will do the Stairmaster and if I did Stairmaster I'll do that for like 10 minutes and then do the elliptical or something like that. So cardio though for me typically considers I typically do the elliptical for a good amount of time. Then I will go on to strength training and I do strength training for each day. My days they really vary on what I'm doing. Like I have an arm day because I need to work on my upper body strength. I have a leg day. I have an ab day. Sometimes I'll even have like a back and a chest day, like shoulder day, so like I can help strengthen my back and everything like that. I'll have a butt day, you know, just like regular days and everything. Ones I typically do more are arms and abs and booty <laughs> because why not? So those are the days I typically do the most and that is what I do for those 
and that's kind of I do that for around 20 30 minutes as well so I'm typically going out to the gym for an hour unless I do more on the elliptical or I do more in the middle or I do mat work or something like that um, but that's typically what I like to stick to for doing the gym and then of course walking there and walking back is something I like to do so that is kind of what I do for my gym and what my fitness routine is right now I will try and see if I can get there so I can do some fitness videos like you know do an ab day video like in the gym that would be pretty cool so I'm gonna try and see if I can ask for permission and everything so you guys can see more of that if that sounds interesting to you guys make sure you like let me know in the comments and also let me know what kind of day you want to see like a booty day ab day arm day um, a full workout routine in general like you know like come work out with me let's see what you want and I will do that for you but yeah just let me know down in the comments and I will get that started so that to me is my typical workout routine so now let's get started on to my workout fitness clothes collection so I'm not doing this to brag or anything like that I just personally love these videos they're like little hauls to me and I love them a lot so I thought maybe you guys would like to see one too so that's why I'm doing this video um, this is going to be just like my workout clothes so if you want to see like a dance collection video that's like a whole other thing so just may give this video a thumbs up and I will do that at one point as well but this is going to be just fitness clothes and everything and once again I'm not trying to brag or just trying to show you be like oh look at all of the stuff that I have but uh, yeah let's get started I'm gonna start off with shoes and I only have two pairs of shoes that I use to work out the first one are these and these are just some black Nikes um, these are the the flex tr5 nike training shoes and these are pretty nice i like these i've had these for like over a year now and they're black with white and i just like the nice nike black shoes so i have these as one of my pairs of shoes and i also have a pink pair of nikes as well i want to get adidas as well but i haven't gotten there so i have this pink one and these are the air rentless four from nike so they have aero ply or something so they're nike airs and um they're really nice. They're very, very comfy. They have a lot of padding in them and everything. And these shoes have lasted me for a good two years so far. And they're still going strong. So I love these shoes. I just love Nike shoes altogether. But I have these as well. So I only have black leggings because I typically don't think I look good in like different colored leggings. So these are only black ones. And I'm going to start off if I can get them by taking. I have these. All of my leggings are high waisted, by the way. I just feel like I look better in high waisted leggings. But I have these to start off with, and they're just black. And they're from Victoria's Secret, but they say on the tag thing, they say VS Angel on them, on like the little band. And so that's what typically show sometimes whenever I'm in the gym. But they're just like yoga pants, leggings, or whatever. And they have like the little, like, what are those? Oh, angel wings on the top. So these are just from Victoria's Secret. So I have a pair. Um, I have two pairs of these actually. Here's the other pair. Um, as you can see, VS Angel. I also have this pair of Capri leggings, and these I just got from like Burlington or something. I don't really remember, but I will wear these sometimes as well, and these are just regular Capri leggings. And these are from Aeropostale, part of their Live Love Dream collection, and these are just some regular leggings as well. These are pretty comfy, um, but the stitching is starting to come out a little bit, which really sucks. And then I have one more pair of Victoria's Secret leggings, but they're either in the wash or something. I can't find them, but um, I wore them the other day. Um, but they are nice and comfy. They're just very regular pink Victoria's Secret leggings. They're like the thin ones and I will wear those sometimes as well. So those are my leggings and now let's move on to shorts. Now I typically go for leggings more than I do shorts but I will wear shorts on occasion and then these are kind of just regular yoga shorts and I don't wear these out typically but I wear them around the house. And these are from, Vic, uh, not Victoria's Secret, they're from Aeropostale and their Live Love Dream collection and these are just a burgundy and they kind of look like pajama shorts but they're made to work out in but that's why I don't wear them out so I will just wear them if I'm doing home workouts I will wear these and they're very comfy though. Very, very comfy, but um, they just don't look like workout shorts, but they are, I promise. So next are Nike Pros. I have two pairs of Nike Pros, one with a pink band and one with a green band, and I want to get more. I just haven't had the chance, um, but I love Nike Pros. They're great. I love especially wearing them underneath dresses and everything like that. It's like a quintessential girl athlete thing to do. Wear your Nike Pros underneath your dress. But I love these to work out in as well, so I have the pink one and the green one, but I, yeah, I do want more eventually one day in my life, so yeah. Next, I have these from Victoria's Secret again, um, and they're just from the pink collection. I got these a couple years ago, so I just said just pink there, and these are just yoga shorts. 
Then I have just, of course, your regular pair of track shorts. So these are just like regular black and white track shorts. Then I have these, and these are from Lululemon, and there are a different type of um, pattern, as you can see. But these were on sale and everything, and I thought they were kind of cool. So I got these, and these are from Lululemon, as I said earlier. And then I have these that are also from Lululemon, and these are actually a size big on me because they, um, this, these were on clearance as well. That's like how I get all my Lululemon stuff. So these were on clearance as well, but I, these are so comfy. I will wear like Nikes underneath them or something like that, so like... You know, you're not just letting it all hang out, but um, these are really comfy to work out in and they're like, they're kind of nice as cover-ups too, and I love these a lot. These are one of my, this is probably my favorite pair of shorts, but I have these. So now I'm going to move on to my addiction, which are sports bras. I love sports bras, they're amazing, and I have a lot of So I'm going to start with this one, and this one's just not padded, it's like just a regular sports bra, and if you're wondering why it has like a lot of paint on it, it's because I wore this to um, a thing that my school my school has called Oglo, and it's like paint and everything, and it seeped through my Oglo shirt, and it got all over my sports bra, but um, I was just wearing this. Alright, so here's where a lot of the Victoria's Secret stuff comes in. I have another one right here, which is another Victoria's Secret sports bra, and this one is really, really pretty. I love it. On the front, it's got this kind of... Um, pattern into it that like kind of shows on the chest and the back the straps kind of come down and the straps are really nice too like they kind of make like this really pretty like try strappy pattern I don't really know how to call that it, but it's like this nice um navy blue color and I like this it's a pretty like large sports bra so it co covers like a lot and everything like that and I love the sports bra a lot it's super comfy and it's one of my absolute faves this one is also from Victoria's Secret. I got the same time I got that one. And this one is also strappy. So it's got like the long straps in the back and it's got like this mesh cut. And it's like a geometric pattern. And then up here in the front, it's got like these long straps. Next, I have this one, which has been a new addition to my sports bra family. And it is just a Calvin Klein performance sports bra. And it's like got some padding in it and it's just a gray and white colored one. And it just comes back in the back like a razor rack. So it's just um, just a fairly normal sports bra. Next, I have this one from Aeropostale. And this one used to have padding in it and now it doesn't. So I wear this on occasion. But it has a high neckline in the front. And then it comes back to have this nice kind of like um, strappy back in the back, obviously, with um, a kind of shoulder outcut. Next, I have this one, which is just from Target. And this one I've had for a long time. And this is just a regular... I also have a regular black one. I use this one for dance actually a lot, but I will also use this to work out and sometimes, so I have a black one as well. Then I have this one that my mom got for me, and this is from Target, I think, and this one's a nice sports bra too. This one's a bit bigger, but it's like this pretty kind of purple one, and it's got like um, just a regular back, but it's like nice and pretty and purple. Then I have this one, which I think is one of my favorite sports bras. Um, I love this one so much. It's also from Lululemon, like the pants. I love Lululemon clothing so much. But it's super, super comfy, and I love it so much. Next, I have this one, and I'm actually not really sure where this is from. But this is another one of my favorites, and as I said earlier, I'm not really sure where it's from, but I really do like it, and I think I might have even gotten, got, got it from Burlington or something. I'm honestly not sure. So I'm sorry about that, but I like the sports bra as well. Then I have this one from Puma, and this one's like a long one, like this one. It's more of like a sports top. It comes down longer, so it kind of goes like right, right above my belly button and everything like that. Then I have this one, and this one is from... Nike as you can see up there so this one's from Nike and it is just a polka dot one like black and purple polka dots and this one's very very cute I like this one and it has a mesh in the back as well again so and my last sports bra is this one which is a Nike Pro one so another Nike one and this one's got kind of like some geometric pattern in it and it's like blues and black and white so those are all my sports bras I don't have a lot and I still want more because I love sports bras I have like a sports bra addiction I'm not even kidding you so those are my sports bras and lastly I have kind of like warm-ups cover-ups and stuff like that so the first one is this one which is from Victoria's Secret and it just says love pink on the back and this is just kind of like a um, mint green color and everything and it's just long and big and pretty and I love this one a lot. I've had it for a really long time. Next I have this one which is also from Victoria's Secret which is a half zip as you can see so it's got a high neckline, has a cute little dog right there and it's this hot pink color and it's got like the long sleeves and this is very very comfy. I love my half zip. This is so comfy and it's 
very bright and I love wearing those on cold runs. I also have this one which is from Air Postal and it is part of the Love Love Dream collection and it is just a black one and so it's like a really long black one. It's another half zip as well and um, it's just got grays and blacks in it and I love wearing this one on runs as well. And finally I have this which is a Nike one. Nike just do it on the front and it's just got the straps and a hood and I will either wear this to work out or honestly I just wear these like to school whenever it's cold because it's so comfy and so good and I love it so much like that's like my new favorite obsession I'm not even kidding you but yeah those are all of my jackets slash half zips so I'm not going to show you like my t-shirts or anything because a lot of them are like really um like personal to where I'm located and everything. I'll just kind of show you like an overview of my t-shirt drawer in just a moment so you can see that. So right. here's just kind of like a little bit of an overview of my t-shirts. This isn't all of them because obviously um, I've got some that are in the wash and everything, but this is most of them that I have. Um, and this is just like an overview of like nice t-shirts that I wear to work out in. So I just have like a bunch of them here, but I won't show you what they actually say and everything because that's a bit personal. But yeah, here are my t-shirts. So I forgot to mention this, but I also have these three shirts that I will wear regularly to the gym. This one is just from Victoria's Secret. It's just got a, those straps and it's just a tank top. This one's also from Pink and it says, Don't Kill My Vibe. And I love this shirt so much. And this one's from Air Postal. It's just a pink and shirt. Yeah, and yeah, that I is would... like my fitness clothes collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can subscribe right here. Also, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see my latest video, you can watch it right here. And if you want to see my last kind of haul video, you can see that right here. So I hope you guys will enjoy that, and I hope you guys will enjoy my channel. Have a lovely day and a wonderful week, and I will see you guys in the next video.